Hey, I'm back. Yeah, what, three kiln openings in one week? That's a lot. And I look tired. I am tired. Anyways, in the kiln room right now, but I want to show you something else first. This is something I've that's been in the works since actually last year about this time. Um, I designed a sign, one of them A-frame signs that I was going to laser engrave. But when I went to Albuquerque Balloon, Hot Air Balloon Fiesta, I managed to lose my thumb drive. And everything, I mean, everything I had designed and made for stamps and plaques and whatever for that I use here in the studio, gone, gone. So I had to remake a lot of things. Some of the stamps, I mean, I still can use those stamps, but when I go to remake them again, they are not going to be the same. They're, you know, I'll just redo different things. But anyways, this sign, it was ready to go. And I was, I went to the college to use a laser engraver to get it engraved, but the big laser engraver was not working. And all that was available was the small one and this sign did not fit in the small one. So I come up with a temporary solution and just cut template templates out in the smaller engraver and used them to spray paint what I have been using since then. I usually put one up in front of my studio, right here in front of the studio, and I put a second one up at the main intersection, which is, I don't know, probably about a quarter mile down the road. A lot of traffic goes by there, and I've gotten quite a few customers in here with this sign. But it's a rural area, and it just makes it easier for whoever is coming here to find me. So let me show you what I did today, what I finished doing today. There it is. What do you think? Can you see it? This is, I mean, it's like backwards. I'm having to work backwards here. I'm going to take it with me to my event this weekend. They had told us that we could bring the big, tall flag banner things, but I don't have one of those. This is what I have. And I asked them and they said, yes, yes, bring it. So that's going with me to my Arizona Honey Bee Festival. Pleasant Valley Community College. If you're in the Phoenix metro area, you need to come. Anyways, let me get this thing put up here. See if I can manage to do it without turning it off. And we will see what's going on in this kiln. It's pretty good so far, doesn't it? Anyways, those big mug steins. I was going for a rustic look. I think I succeeded. I think I did. Let's start there. So anyways, there's three of them. And I started out with a iron, oh, I forget what it's called. Let's see, iron luster base. And on one of them, I left it just iron luster. Don't you love that detail? They're my Arizona mugs. It's all about Arizona there. One, anyways, one of them I left just iron luster. One of them I put one coat of oatmeal. And the third one I put a heavy coat, two coats, but made it heavy. And I don't know, they look the same. So I don't know that putting that extra oatmeal on it made any difference because they look the same. Looky there. That's one of the stamps that I designed and cut out myself in my fab lab class at Eastern Arizona College. It's wonderful. So that's it. And see how big they are? I mean, that's how big they are. That's my hand. That's the stein. 
good size good size and this base oh my honestly I cannot remember what I did with it I'm thinking I put the pearl oh what is it called it's the one of the um, spectrum glaze it's pearl something or other floating glaze all over the whole thing and then I put flux so it would run but here and I wanted the rustic look and I wanted the detail to show can you see the detail so I took my metal rib and scraped off the glaze from where the detail is on there I like how it came out and the inside Ricky you can't see it let me show you here can you see it there? I don't know if you can see it very well. The lighting just isn't right, but oh my goodness, if you could see it in person, it looks very similar to the, uh, the antique just, just, no, just, uh, ah. sorry, I can't remember. And this one, one of those templates that I've designed and cut out myself at the Fab Lab. This one, special for my event this weekend, Arizona Honey Bee, Ricky there. This is the Coastal Blue from Clayscapes. I don't know why it's called Coastal Blue because <laughs> there's really no blue in there. But I like the color. I like the color. Oh, and this is on Laguna Bee Mix. These others, actually, this is the Rocky Mountain, the Rocky Mountain Clay. No, it isn't. That's Laguna Bee Mix. That one is. And here's the floating blue, Spectrum floating blue. All about Arizona there, right? Can you see it? Spectrum floating blue. If only you could see the light. I, there it is. That shows the color pretty true, I think. And this one, this is Told Your Scrubby, Told the Bar Soap, Hold Your Business Cards, whatever needs holding, put it in there, right? It's Speedball Black, wiped back with the Pearl from Spectrum. Antique Pearl, I think it's called, Pearl something. like my stacking, stack, stacking job there. <laughs> there was so much open space and I had just that one more piece that I wanted to put in, so I made it work. Made it work. I made it didn't work. Whoops, we're getting rearranged here. Let's fix that back up. There we go. Couple of stilts. And again, let's see what we did here. Speedball Black. And I sponged on a couple of different colors of speedball yellow and I think saffron yellow, maybe even some, I call it flaming saffron because when they shipped my underglazes to me, poor packing, one of the bottles was open when it got here and half empty. They were so kind as to replace it with a brand new one and I just mixed the two up and got me Flaming saffron. There you go. Guys, that's not a good sound, is it? And of course, y'all know what it is. If you're a potter, you know what this is for. When I made this, <laughs> I think I had run out of the cone six cones. 
So I just went with the four and five. And that's what I used. I thought, well, I can see the five. That's what I'm shooting for. And when I get to where that one needs to be, it's going to be good, right? And it was. It worked out. It works. You know what? Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. All right. Let's get the shelf out of here. Make sure nothing is stuck. All clear. Lots of trinket trays. This load actually has lots of small flat stuff lots of trinket trays um do you want to know what all the colors are if i can remember i will tell you this one is antique jade with floating blue along the rim can you see it this is just antique Jade. Then we have Sangria on B Mix. No, no, no. I think I think that's probably the cherry blossom. No, it is Sangria because it has the white floaty stuff. That's Sangria on B Mix. This is Sangria on the Rocky Mountain Kodiak Clay. B-Mix, Rocky Mountain Kodiak. Can you see the difference? Same glaze, Spectrum, Sangria, with the two clays. Makes it look quite different. And I like them both, actually. This is Sangria, no, Autumn Purple, Autumn Purple on B-Mix. Autumn Purple on Rocky Mountain Kodiak. The Kodiak clay just gives it a deeper, richer color. These three here are all Speedball Black wiped back. Can you see my B detail? I love it. I love it. It is for the Arizona Bee Honey Bee Festival, after all. Speedball Black wiped back with yellows, sponged on. Yellow, saffron yellow, and I don't know. I think it was yellow. I don't remember. Anyways, three of the Speedball yellows wiped back with black and then sponge on the yellows with the 2167 clear. These are basically most, I mean, I use these little small trinket trays as um, test towels, pretty much. This was, <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I have to look in my book. I will know later, but you won't know now. That's pretty. That one is actually the coastal blue. That's the coastal blue, and I like that. Yellow, deep yellow, gold color with that kind of a pinkish color to it. Again, I don't know why it's called coastal blue, but I like it. I don't know. <laughs> This here is Georgie's Interactive Pigment, yeah, or the straw, no, surf, surf and Turf, wiped back, no clear glaze, nothing, just the Interactive Pigment, that's all. Speedball, orange and yellow mixed, sponged on with a 2167 clear. And Georgie's, the straw, no clear, just bare naked. Just the interactive pigment. Alrighty, another short shallow one. Stuck, everything, let go, let go, let go. If you're not gonna let go, hold on till I'm done. Oh, it was stuck, look at that. That's not a good thing. 
So that they come undone while you lift them. I've lost, I think, only one piece that way. But still, it is a loss. Oh, here we go. Spectrum Cherry Blossom. I think that's what it's called. I can't find it right now. But that's a Spectrum. Spectrum. Oh, they're two different ones, but they are so similar in color. Kimchi. Kimchi. This one is Sangria. And they are all on B Mix. Spectrum Sangria. And that was an Iron Luster with oatmeal. Iron Luster with oatmeal. Spectrum Autumn Purple, Spectrum Kimchi, and Spectrum Cherry Blossom. Mmm, Antique Jade with Floating Blue. That's the Floating Blue by itself. And Floating Blue by itself. Floating blue, antique jade with floating blue on the lip, and just floating blue, all spectrums. And as you can see, it's not just honeybee stuff because I thought, oh, it's an Arizona. So I have a lot of Arizona things in here too. I use that Arizona pin and I can't remember the name of the company where I bought it truly can't floating blue on the Rocky Mountain Kodiak clay same with these all the same Rocky Mountain Kodiak clay I like the rustic look of them just that deep brown with the blue, hint of blue on it. I think it looks nice. And the last one right there. If I was really good, I would remember what the name of these glazes are on the spot when I, but it is what it is. Okay, here we go, another shelf. More soap dishes. I'm gonna see what the name of that interactive pigment is just because it's bugging me. It is called Sand and Surf. Has a nice yellow color to it. Isn't that pretty? There's nothing on it, just the Sand and surf, that's all. Wiped it back. I didn't put any kind of clear, nothing, no edge, nothing. It's just the pigment. I like the look. Not gonna be any food going on it, so I thought it would be okay. You can see the bees. See the bees and the daisies? Little honey pot. More of the same colors. Autumn purple. On B Mix. This one is. What's this one? Iron Luster. Iron Luster. I'm pretty sure. With. Oatmeal. Iron luster with oatmeal. I 
I believe that's just iron luster. Kodiak clay with sangria. That one's also Kodiak clay. Not being very neat with those stamp stilts today or posts. I need to just get that. Whoa, something did not sound good. Just stay put there, posts. Just stay put. Ooh, I'm liking that. Oh. He's going to stay there to the end. You just have to look at him. Again, going for the rustic look. This was... I have to look because now I need, I, I need to know. Mugs. Iron luster. And I put a band of oatmeal. Iron luster inside. If you like brown, I mean, it, it's very rustic looking. I usually like really bright colors, but I think this is, I mean, it looks kind of coppery color. When you catch the light, bright light, you can't really see it in the video. Maybe you can see it better here, I don't know. But it has kind of a coppery color, a little bit of purple in it. And this one is the same. So we have a pair. Okay, I was playing with this one. Oh, yeah! Reminds me of a popsicle. A dreamsicle, what are those called? Sangria on the inside. No, I'm purple on the inside. Sangria and kimchi. I overlap the two colors here in the middle. It looks delicious. Done it. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I'd like to have a popsicle like that one. All right. That is coastal blue. Okay, I'm going to get those things out of my way before they come crashing down and breaking something. And posts kind of worry me sometimes. Coastal blue, trinket tray. How about them daisies and bees? Coastal blue, spoon rest. Don't you like that detail? Those bees. I'm pretty sure this pin comes from Vermont pottery. I really like the detail of the bees. Ultra blue from Clayscapes. This one here was a refire because I really didn't like it the other day. Still not a big fan, but it's better than it was. But I know there's somebody out there that this is just going to be ultimately the best thing ever. Right? Yeah. Okay. Did you see my stacking job in there again? <laughs> I hate empty spaces. Alrighty. Surf and sand. Georgie's Interactive Pigment. You can see my belly. Oh boy. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Georgie's Interactive Pigments. Surf and Sand. And then the little tumblers. Got some Sambao. Transfers of my bumblebees there, my bumblebee and bees. I like 
the glazing. I wanted something different and I was tired of all the colors I had. So I just said, well, let's just play. See the bee? So this has speedball, yellow, speedball, saffron yellow, and my saffron, fl flaming saffron. Sponged them on. Can you see it? Let me get the light. Light just right. Sponged it on. Then I use a 2167 clear inside and out. Aren't those cute? Just the right size. And we have quite a few medallions. And you know what I do with those, right? That's how I clean my brushes. So they're just a surprise. I never know what those are going to be. They are just whatever they are. That's what they are. Because they are a mixture of whatever is on the brush. And I just clean the brush off on those. Always have some handy. Ooh, I like that. Reminds me of ancient Jasper. Wow, I like it. Too bad I can't duplicate it, right? Too bad I can't duplicate it. Nice little stack. I think those are gonna be the donation for the the entertainers at the event. They asked for a donation to put into the, the um, what are they called? The grab bag, the, the bag that they give to whoever. All right, last one, the bowl. Get a front and center there. Got the giant bumblebee in the middle. I took speedball glazes. Okay, this is all speedball under glazes. The transfer was put on, of course, as most transfers are put on, on the greenware, or, or well, leather hard clay. And as yellow, Saffron yellow, orange yellow, or maybe flaming saffron and orange yellow. And then the bees going all the way around. And that is the end. See you next time.